Sharing of mighty minds. Men and women who are doing research that is meant to positively change the lives of ordinary South Africans and the world at large. And at the awards function, they receive their deserved recognition. I feel very, I feel very proud. I feel very, at least someone is acknowledging my work. My research was centered on the industrial wastewater treatment, mostly from the wastewater that is generated from the mines, where they use cyanide to recover gold. So now, in most cases, you'd find that these mining companies, they'll just dump or they'll just store it for years. So now we decided to come up with a biological approach or to develop a project on how to treat such, such waters. Cultural studies researcher Nicole Falkoff has also been recognized for her work. I'm interested in race and anxiety, particularly race and anxiety in the media, particularly the way these things manifest in the media in South Africa and in Johannesburg. So I've been doing a lot of work on how there are all these different anxieties that people feel and there are all these different stories that we tell each other about our lives. And in so many cases, what these things do is they mask fears about race particularly white people's fears about the incursion of black people into formerly white spaces. Minister Nari Pando says the research work by these men and women is important. What they do is help us to recognize established researchers who have been uh, leading in uh, creating a new knowledge, but also it helps us to get a sense of the emerging generation of researchers, which is very important. The Lifetime Achievement Award went to Professor Brian O'Connell from the University of the Western Cape. By the same with the SABC News, Bloemfontein.